Numbskull. <laughs> Yo, yes guys, welcome to another episode of Scrap to Track. Now, first things first, the reason I haven't been making any videos on the EP3 is because it's done a typical Honda thing. It's gone and seized the brake caliper once again. So that's all burnt, that's all knackered. Took the pad with it again. Uh, I'm not sure if it's took the pad with it or not, but it's not looking too hot. I've just not had time to change the brake caliper over. I have got them ones that AC Alloys made, but I've just not had the time. Plus, I haven't got the tool for the pump, uh, for the brake fluid. Uh, so that's kind of screwed it. So that's that's not being driven at the minute. It's just sat in the driveway. But coming in handy is the trusty Ibiza. It is for sale, this car, just because I want an MX-5. I want like a little project car, rear wheel drive. Um, this has been my daily for the past month. If you want it, 700 quid, drop me a message on Instagram. Trusty little daily. Here she is, the little monster. I can't believe how good this thing works for its age. Like it cranks up so quickly. We're on, we're on. So yeah. Today we've got another episode on the EJ9 track car. We have got a track day coming up on the 7th of December. Uh, if you don't already know, we go to all the Three Sisters track days, Track Attack, Extreme BHP, all of them. It's a proper good laugh. Uh, we meet a couple of fans there, a couple of subscribers, take them out on track, and it's just a really, really fun day for literally everyone. So today what we're, what we're doing is, a couple of videos ago, we got the exhaust system installed on the EJ9. Um, it got decatted and like a straight through system. Today, James has actually bought a four to one manifold we're going to install so we're hoping for uh, a couple of gains with the car uh, and some flames which will be always good so we're heading around there now if you don't know the car actually lives around the corner from me and um, that's where we do all the work on it I think James and Stephen are there now so yeah I'll pick the camera up when we get there okay a couple of things to do today first thing uh, we've got an air filter from Funk Motorsport uh, that you can actually get discount through Funk Motorsport now using the code 9k10 I'll put that on screen now so we've got a couple of bits to do we've got the manifold to do we've got the boys here steven numbskull <laughs> so yeah we've got the air filter to put on uh, and then change frankenstein's hand because that does it not look like a hand to anyone else yeah. no the bolts aren't looking too bad i'm not going to say anything else because i'll jinx myself the new manifold that's going on like i said we are doing a budget build but this, this thing looks all right. Obviously, it's a four to one, so you've got the four pipes going into two, going into one. Uh, you've got the gaskets. It, it's literally come with everything. Hardware, bungs for the O2 sensors. So, how much was it? 70 quid. 70 quid. I'm pretty impressed with that. So, yeah, a couple of things to do today. Let's crack on. Yeah, so obviously, this engine bay is completely different to the uh, EP3. The EP3 is, like, backwards, so the fuel rail's at the front, the exhaust manifold's at the back. It's just a lot more awkward with an EP3. This one... So far, so good. All the bolts have come off. Just two more to do. And we'll go from there. This is where I sm smash me knuckles off something. Oh! Oh, she's a good one. Just just sell the EP in mind. She is a good one. Honda! Right, I'm hoping we don't need this socket again because that's pretty fucking stuck. Big thank you to Funk Motorsport. We're going to put the air filter on now. The only thing, what we're going to do at the minute is just bolt it to the box. What we really need to do is get a pipe that will come down here, take this box out, which that can probably come out now anyway, uh, and bolt it here just so it's not soaking heat from, from the engine. But yeah, thank you to Funk for sending us some bits out. Really appreciate it. Um, hopefully that will make a little bit of an improvement on noise at least anyway. <laughs> I, uh... What's going on? I'm trying to get the bracket off for this exhaust. Isn't it all going to drop as soon as that comes off? Hopefully. Around your head? Yep. Right. So I'll send it yes! Out. Yes! <laughs> yes! It's a little bit fiddly doing this stuff on a driveway, but we managed to get all the bolts off. It's just a matter now of kind of like prying the manifold off the uh, off the actual block. Got to uh, think about how we're going to do it, but like I said, all the bolts are undone, all the brackets are undone. It's just a matter of getting that off now. Obviously, it's never ever been off the car, and the car's, what, 21 years old? 
So we'll see how we get on. Might just need like a breaker bar or, or a crowbar or something just to pry in there and off. Apart from that, I'm not too sure. We'll give it a go and uh, find out. Oh, we're off. We're off. Frankenstein's hand has been removed. We're off. We're actually off. I thought that would be a lot harder than what it was because of how old the car is, but no, they are exactly the same as well, so we'll get this on. The only thing I don't know why is why there is an O2 sensor at the top of the manifold. Um, we've got the blanks anyway, so we'll probably just blank that off and plug the other O2 sensor back in, and hopefully it doesn't throw a light, but if it does, it's not even the end of the world. Probably where it is on the D16 or something. Right, let's get it on. Boys, looks like it's got about 400 horse now, even though it's slow as fuck, mate. Really Does look quite good, not gonna lie. Um, obviously, we've got to tighten all these up. Get underneath the car. <laughs> uh, O2 sensor fits in here. This has been such a smooth process. Hiya. Hiya. I'll tighten that before I forget to do it. That'll do. Now tighten them up. So it's all about trial and error. Now I just want to say, none of us here are mechanics. None of us have any mechanical knowledge. We're just unbolting things and putting them back how we found them. We put the uh, we put the head of the uh, the actual manifold um, on the block. Realised then that we had to connect it um, to the downpipe. It's just easier to take it off and do it off the car. So we've uh, we've bolted all them up, made sure they're all down. We've got the bung in, so we're going to just all put it in, see if it all marries up. Um, that one came out all in one piece, so this one should go in as one. There's a lot of room in this engine, so that's good. Okay, I don't want to scratch it, do you? <laughs> no, it should, it'll be yeah, fine. It's there we go. Gasket's on. Bolt it all up again. Nearly done, lad. We're nearly done. Got more horsepower than this, that. Tightened all these bolts up, that's on. We've literally, all we've got to do is tighten the two up under here and then we're done and we can give it a cold start. If I'm honest, this has been a lot easier than the EP3s was, probably because the manifold's at the front of the engine bay. But either way, all the Honda bolts have gang. come off really good. Oh, Honda gang. Um, all the bolts have come now. off really well and um, yeah, I thought I thought it'd go a lot worse to be fair because the car's like I said, 21 years old, and I thought a lot of the bolts would be seized and we'd end up just having a day of just drilling stuff out. But it's come off really well, looks good as well. We're gonna have to try and uh, spray this at some point. Uh, plug this back in again. Everything's tightened up, tops tightened, bottom tightened, centre section is tight. Give it a start. Give it a start. Well. I thought it'd be louder, but that sounds nice. I tell you what, for a D14, that does sound all right. That does sound good, and it's um, just chuck us that towel. Not leaking either. Four to one, lad. Uh, I think we're going to quickly do the brakes as well while we're here. Um, the pads at least, the discs seem all right, but we'll see, we'll see. That's the next job. Hey, bud. Uh, Chuck that under there. Well, you could have probably got away with a road use, but not track. So these ones aren't going to set on fire, are they, Jesse? Probably knowing me. Again, I'm um, not the worst I've seen, but could do with changing. There's not much life in them. Can't get the disc off. <laughs> Can't get the discs off because the uh, the screws that go into the disc are completely rounding off and I just can't get them out. I've tried to drill them out. Every drill bit just keeps snapping. Um, I, I don't know what we're going to be able to do, but I've tried to, I've put the discs and pads, I've put the pads in. Um, the only thing is now, because I've tried to smack the disc off this side, when we let the car, um, we just put the car in gear and then let the wheel spin. This one's not spinning as much as the other one, which makes me think either the piston seized or the discs warped and it's just catching on the pad. 
not too sure where to go from here to be fair but main thing is the manifold's on but yeah it's an awkward one all right so i've had to improvise i've smashed a flathead in it and twisting it at the same time it did work for that one but it's not for this one <laughs> we're off we're off <laughs> Chad and George came through, these two fuckers. Didn't fuck really do nothing, but... Yeah, we got that side off now, it's um same situation with this side. Oh, oh right, who's put the wheel back on, dickhead? This is what I mean about winter, it just gets dark so early. So, the right side is done, we've managed to get the disc off, put the new ones on, put the pads on. That's spinning freely now, that's fine, luckily the, the, the caliper isn't seized. Uh, this side... We couldn't get the disc off. We've got a dyno day tomorrow at TDI, so we're probably gonna leave the car there and see if they can sort it for us after the dyno. We're gonna turn the car on now, see if the, the wheels are spinning freely. Like I said, this one's got the old disc on, the other side's got the new one on. I know you shouldn't do that, but we're, we're kind of at a, a dead end at the minute. Um, like I said, TDI will be able to sort it out. So we're just praying that this one's not warped uh, and that we can still drive it around. If not, I'll just have to get the car recovered to TDI or something tomorrow. <laughs> Spinning. Spinning. Oh, it stopped. Spinning. Yeah, it's not yeah, spinning. It <sighs> Push both pistons back in, put the pads in. If this doesn't work, then we're pretty screwed. Right. Right, ready? I'll check the other side. Spinning. 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 Yeah. Spinning, but slower, a lot slower. Yeah, one of them will. Come on with the torque to the other side. Yeah, stop. stop spinning. Wait, Stephen, bring me a light. I can't. Oh, it's not spinning now. Not spinning. This one's spinning now. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, it's spinning freely. Well, there's nothing at the minute. Now, it's now they are. Yeah. That one's catching like. Yeah, but it's only just working the minute, James. Spinning. Spinning. Stop. Stop. Spinning. Spinning very fast. Yeah, James. Stop. Stop. Spinning. Very fast. Stop. Stopped. stopped. Very, very stopped. Well, have we actually done it? Have we, have we mission accomplished? This is going to be like episode nine, and it's going to be about half an hour long. Right, so they're both definitely spinning, yeah? Yeah. One dominoes later, we're gonna take it for a spin. Oh, knackered man. <laughs> A little bit better. Yeah, it did. It felt like. Can, did you hear some sort of crossover? There is some of that. Well, yeah. People say they've not got VTEC, and no, they don't, but there's some sort of crossover there. I don't care what anyone says. I really don't. Sounds nice. Didn't you? I it thought was. it would be really, really raspy. Like it's, there's a little bit of rasp there, but you're never going to get rid of that with a Honda. <laughs> Headlights. Don't fucking smell like it. One lady owner. What can you say? 
Yeah, so uh, we just took it for a little test drive then and we're 99% sure that it popped a flame. So we're just gonna go to uh, a business park where there's a road that we're not gonna piss anyone off and uh, see if we can get some like flyby clips of it flaming or popping or banging or whatever it does because we're not sure yet, but we wanna find out, so yeah. Thank you very much for watching this episode tomorrow we've got the dino day at tdi so we're going to find out what all this work has actually done um it'll be very interesting to see how much horsepower it makes so yeah stay tuned for that hope you enjoyed this episode i'll see you guys in the next one peace